uh, yeah, so the, there's photograph behind me. Do you want me to say something about it? This is uh, the love of my life. I see Dunkete and I in happier times, you know. We were buddies, you know, back in the day. Well, this is not so back in the day. This is like 2018 or 2017. It must have been in Parliament at one of the sessional addresses. You know, we used to really like each other. You know, we, we, were, uh, we were neighbors in Sakumono. And, and so, yeah, this, this is uh, my man, Johnson. I said, don't care. These days, he's not too happy with me, and I'm not too happy with him. But he's older than me, so uh, I, I'm happy with him. I don't know whether he's happy with me. But, you know, you have to give reference to people who are older than you. So I, I get it. You know, that's... I'm on the right, Johnson is on the left. You see how bodies we were? I don't know where my spectacles was that day. Maybe I tried to take it off so that it will all be the same, something like that. But, uh, but that's Johnson, I see you get it. Now, my friend, I see you get it. It's creating more confusion, you see. He's the longest serving general secretary of the National Democratic Congress. And his U turn on this Ahunta project is creating a problem. When you listen to the Ahunta project's principles, you kind of think that both sides are right. You see, the NDC is saying that. You want to make a donation, make it to the NDC. You, I'll play the video for you where Johnson Asiedunkatia reminds people of donations made by President Mills to the party, donations made by President Muhammad to the party. It was not designed as their donation. They say Dr. Dufour has set up a hunter project and he's doing it through an NGO. But Dr. Dufour is also right in the sense that he has investigated and found out that grassroots people are not being taken care of. So he wants to guide his donation to the grassroots. He doesn't want to give it to the party and doesn't know how it ends up. A bit of trust issues over there, isn't it? So Professor Mills donated 25 pickups. He doesn't decide where it ends up. Uh, Dr. Dufo is suggesting that. I don't want to give things to the party and I don't know how it ends up. Because he says that has been the trajectory of our party. The grassroots always don't have anything. They don't have anything to look after themselves. And then we just go to them when we need their vote, buy their vote, they vote for us, and we dump them. And that's what Dr. Dufour is saying. It's, 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 a, it's a rallying call around. So I'll show you the video of the NDC grassroots in, um, in um, ooh, Edubiase, in Ashanti, who were wildly celebrating the arrival of the Ahunta project in their constituency. The confusion is now big, and I told you that we're going to tell you the reason why Johnson Asidu Nketia is, is fighting Ofusu Ampafo for their situation, okay? First of all, because we want to show you the credibility of what we are saying, we will show you Asi Nkatiya's earliest comments about Ahunta project on the day it was launched. And we contrasted that with what uh, Samuel Ofusampofu, the national chairman, also said. And we indicated to you that Asi Nkatiya seems to be on Dr. Dufour's side, uh, hurriedly pushing Dr. Dufour into the agenda to execute the Ahunta project. Uh, Ofusampofu said something different. He reiterated the party position that this is about the party, it's not about an individual. So we drew that dichotomy and said that, well, it's, it's a space to watch, okay? Now, the space to watch has dramatically changed. Now, what has changed it? So we have investigated. Our investigation suggests that. I said, Duke Etta wants to be chairman of the party, isn't it? John Mahama is very, very powerful in the NDC, perhaps the most powerful person in the NDC, and rightly so. The guy has been deputy minister, minister, vice president, president, anybody who occupies these roles for a political party in government will be very, very powerful. You cannot compare him to anybody in the NDC. There are some in the NDC who have been deputy ministers with him, no problem. There are some who have been ministers with him, no problem. Uh, is there anyone who has been vice president with him? No. I mean, Park with him is at his past. So, so no, no one in the NDC has been vice president with John Mahama. He's the only one who's been vice president today's NDC. And he's been president. So sitting there as former president, former candidate, he's, he's obviously the most powerful person with influence, okay? I said, look, Ketia is beginning to worry that John Mahama might send a message to the people that if he's doing a hunter project, forget about him. We are moving forward to win 2024. We don't want any issues. Forget about Asedu Ketia, elect of Usama Pofo. Johnson Asedu Ketia is very, very smart. He has picked up that signal. So he's doing a U-turn, which politicians do sometimes. He's doing a U-turn to now come and Aligned with the party position. Let me show you the video. You see that his bodyguard, bodyguard in quotes, please. His bodyguard was standing next to him. I won't mention his name. I'll show you. He's a good friend of mine. His bodyguard was standing next to him, nodding at the things Asiedu Nketiah is saying, almost to say that Asiedu Nketiah has been asked to come and say this. In fact, in the introductory remarks he made, he says that this is something he didn't want to talk about. But because of the pressure, he has to speak to the media about it. Okay. So we will get you all that information. Then we will conclude with our statement so that we can uh, finish the Asiedu Nketiah conversation. And I have some history to show you as well uh, later on. 
uh, uh, we'll do that. Now, the other matter we'll be talking about today is Auditor General. I won't go there yet now. Uh, we'll talk about it soon. So that's Johnson. I see you here and I. Let's go back. Play back. Good evening, Ghana. Weeks ago, analyzing the difference between Asiedun Katia's statement and Ofosu Ampofu's statement. Let's have that video. So this is what Johnson Asiedun Katia said. Let's look at it and do some content analysis of it. He said, the Ahunta project is the first of its kind since our party NDC was established. So Johnson Asiedun Katia's first sentence is that this has never happened. It's a novelty. Nobody has done a Ahunta project since our party was established. Very strong points for Dr. Dufour in there. Let's continue. He says, it is essential that we work closely with Dr. Dufour to structure this project such that it forms a vital part of the NDC's developmental framework. Wow. Okay, let's do some content, further content analysis of it. I see what Ketia says about the project as a first. It's novel. Never happened before. Dr. Dufour is the one who brought it. Okay. Then he says that in managing the project, we, as NDC, we should work closely with Dr. Dufour only, he said Dr. Dufour and John Mahama and Dr. Dufour and somebody. He said we should work with Dr. Dufour to structure this project such that it forms a vital part of the NDC's developmental framework. So, Johnson Asedun Katia's expressions at the event presents Dr. Dufour as a savior. That's, that's the content analysis. Uh, Asedun Katia here is presenting Dufour as a savior of the party. Remember and have at the back of your mind, Dufour is presenting a challenge to John Dramani Mahama. Johnson Asedun Katia, the general secretary, presents Dufour as a, a, a savior of the party without any mention of John Mahama or any mention of election 2024. Let's check out what Ofosu and Pofu said. Another content analysis. And then you see the dichotomy between the two. Here is Ofusu Ampofu speaking. He says, we thank God, we thank Dr. Dufour for, his, for donating to the party to empower us for victory in 2024. This will be a vital, this will be vital towards our preparations, towards capturing power for victory in 2024. Let's And tonight. But that was Johnson I see doing KTI, you see. So he sort of endorsed the Ahunta project, not just in the sense of endorsing it, but he sort of advised on the implementation of the Ahunta project, which is such that this is the first time anybody has done something like that. I'm not sure why he said this is the first time anybody has done something like that to the NDC, because in the video that we're about to play to you, he cites historical examples of Professor Mills, John Mahama, all donating to the NDC. On that occasion of the launch of Ahunta, which we just showed you, he said this is the first time anybody has done something like that. So I don't know what kind of dimensions he meant when he said first time. Is it first time that somebody has donated a plan, an idea, a policy to help the grassroots? Is that the point he's making? Because he, there he goes, he says, first time somebody has done that. Few months later, he says, oh, this thing it has been done so many times. Professor Mills did it. John Mahama did it. So if Dr. Dufo is doing it, it's not new. Then earlier, he said, this is the first time. It is novel. Mm. Mm. But I'll tell you why. And he's a very smart politician, Johnson. I see you don't Okay. So those of you who haven't heard the story, let's now watch him, uh, my good friend and uh, senior, senior, senior brother, maybe my uncle, uh, Johnson. I see you Speaking to the press, almost under duress and his... Bodyguard standing to his right. Have a look. We just picked information from Kumasi that um, Dr. Dufo is going to distribute some equipment to our constituencies under the Ahunto project. And we feel very betrayed because, you see, it is not a bad thing if a former minister wants to support the party in any way. But there, are, there is a process that you go through. So we actually heard about this project for the first time when it was supposed to have been launched in Ashaman. So we felt that everything about the launching and the design of the project was problematic. So we invited Dr. Dufour and his followers. And we sat down because we thought that we could resolve whatever was wrong with the, with the, with the uh, project as it has been designed. So we all chart the same path and then make sure that we receive the donation and process the donation 
through our proper party channels of receiving donations. So we sat, we held a series of meetings and, you know, thought that we had agreed on the procedure. And our procedure is that if you want to donate to NDC, after donating, you don't have a hand in how the donation will be used. In fact, he's not the first person to donate to this party. In previous years, Professor Mills donated vehicles to the party. And they were processed through the party structures. President Mahama has donated uh, vehicles and other equipment to the party. Once you hand over to the party, the party takes over. The information we are picking now is that um, we have been written to that there's going to be an NGO which is going to uh, manage the Ahuto project. And we strongly object to that thing. And we feel that we have been misled into launching, uh, uh, receiving the donation and thought that and assured our party that it is the party that is going to handle it. Uh, if Dr. Dufo intends to make this donation to the party a genuine donation, he should be prepared to uh, pass through the, cha the proper channels. Without uh, the channels, otherwise, you, will you go ahead and issue the, a fiat without, that he stops it? Without the, with the, well, he has his equipment. Whatever he's doing with his equipment, it cannot happen. I said, okay, that will not kill us. Though. You see, you see, a smile. You see he's, the people call me Sergio Ramos. I think that he's a Maradona. Charlie, that guy is brutal. You know, I said, okay, that is brutal. Listen to what he said first. No one has ever donated to the party. Oh, three months later. Oh, but this is not new. John Mahama donated. And he said, Professor Mills donated cars. Then when he got to John Mahama, he said cars. He quickly noticed that it was limiting. And in comparing cars to Ahuta project, the cars are not coming. So he said, equipment. Without naming what The guy, you have to give it to him. I said, look at you. I said, Diego Maradona. You have to give it to him. Smart politician. Now, okay. So we're going to play you what Dr. Dufour's response is. Dr. Dufour's response was that no amount of insults. I didn't hear any insults in what I said, Nketiah said, though. Certainly, there, was, there were no insults in that. I don't know whether other people have been insulting, but I'm sure Dr. Dufour is not referring to Asedu Nketiah's statements because there were no insults in that. But Dr. Dufour's point is that I want the party grassroots to be rejuvenated. I want to have a way to know that whatever I send there is getting to the people on the ground. I don't want to give it to the party. Yes, I, I'm doing it for the NDC. The suspicion here is that Dr. Dufour is doing it to propagate his campaign to challenge John Dramani Mahama for the flag bearership of the National Democratic Congress. So that's the, the bitter truth which is uh, unnerving a lot of Mahama supporters. That what is Dr. Dufour about? The Mahama supporters tell me that it's not that they are worried that Dr. Dufour can win. He cannot win. But they are worried that he will create problems. They think if, if the, the winner needs to get 50% plus one. At the last election, John Mahama got 97%. Okay. Even if he draws by 10 percentage points, 87. He draws by 20 percentage points, 77. Let's go on. 30 percentage points, 67. 40 percentage points, 57, 57. John Mahama, they think, most likely will win. But they are concerned that as an opposition party, they need the strongest of unity to be able to go in 2024 and win. They are concerned that Dr. Dufour is, is uh, sort of spoiling the soup, isn't it? And so they have taken people out on him. They are talking about him in different ways. And I like the way I see I refer to him, a former minister. That's not good enough, uh, my, my friend Johnson. Dr. Dufour is not just a former minister. He's a former deputy governor of the bank, former governor of the bank, minister for finance and economic planning who achieved so much in the Mills era. I think you should give him the credit. Just line him to a former minister. He's not just a former minister. You know, say you, get, you know that, you know. So, okay. So this is Dr. Dufour's response. Have a look. <laughs> uh, insults, attacks, will stop me from what I want to do for you. Nothing. What did I give my salary to <laughs> Ghana? Four years. Never took a person. Oh, okay. No, no. I formed uh, my first company in 1984. Okay? Mm -hmm. 1984. The records are there. That is it. Why don't you talk about perhaps the financial? I have so many companies. But I'm not the talking type. 
It's not my nature. Nigeria is a fool. How about you were even born? Yeah. <laughs> I go to register the law and check star assurance. How was it registered? 1984. Why do you talk like that? I just want to help. I worked for four years. Do you not take salary? No. Be my ex I gave it to you, Ghana. That my reward? I want us to help strengthen the country, strengthen the party, and to affect everybody. Let's get together. Let's help one another. Hmm? So, is there going to demoralize you to stop the, the initiative that started? What the party is saying? Me? Well, not at all. No amount of uh, <laughs> uh, insults, attacks, will stop me from what I want to do for you. Nothing. What did I give my salary to <laughs> Ghana? Four years. Never took a person. Okay, so that was uh, Dr. Kobnadu for responding. Uh, let me go to the video of the people. Uh, you, if you can bring back Asidun Kete and I, I'll, I'll talk about this video in a minute, but uh, this, this is a, a funny story. Yes, okay, so I'm still on Asidun Kete, uh, Johnson Asidun Kete, my former neighbor and uh, a, a man that I believe is the smartest politician, the Diego Maradona of politics in Ghana here. Okay, now um, the, the people... So the battle is with the, as they say, when two elephants are fighting, the grass surface, isn't it? So the battle is the John Mahama people and the Dufour people. Now let me tell you something about uh, this Asedun Katia's foray into wanting to be national chairman. So they've made a calculation, and sometimes they wonder how I get to know what they've discussed at their meetings. We all get to know. They get to know what I'm discussing here. I get to know what they are discussing. There's no secret. We all know what everyone is doing, and so there's no problem. I don't mind if they get to know what we are discussing. What we discuss here is not a secret. How we plan the things we do during the week is not a secret, because it's not a crime. I get to hear theirs. They get to hear ours. Okay, no problem. Now, what they have been discussing is that 2024 elections is a watershed moment for the NDC. Because of the peculiarity of their candidate, John Dramani Mahama, former president. Now, the, the analysis goes this way. In 2024, NDC, if they should win the election, John Mahama cannot come back because it will be his last term. He's doing one term. If they should lose the election, it will be difficult for John Mahama to stake a claim to the candidature again. So they are suspecting that either way, John Mahama is not coming back. Okay. John Mahama is insistent on picking a running mate who does not control the soul of the party. Yeah? So, Jainan Opokwajiman, in all possibility, most likely, will be retained as John Dramani Mohammed's running mate. Yeah? Now, they think, and they believe, it, it seems obvious, that Jainan Opokwajiman, not being a, a classical politician, does not have control over the party. So, whatever happens in 2024 for the NDC, John Mahama is leaving. Whoever becomes party chairman, will have a big role to play in choosing the next leader of the party or, in fact, presenting himself as the next leader of the party. That's where the fight is coming from, between Asir Dunkatia and, and party chairman of Usoan Pofo. So Asir Dunkatia is seeing that if I don't challenge this man for the party chairman and become party chairman, the guy is going to be the leader of the party after that because of Usoan Pofo has been nursing presidential ambitions since Accra Poly days. He's been nursing it. I didn't know whether Asidu Katia is nursing presidential ambitions, but these days you cannot tell. And there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody can nurse presidential ambitions. I'm also nursing ambitions to be Speaker of Parliament. Do you know that? You didn't know. Today I've told you. So yes, all of us, what is your ambition? Send me a text. Your ambition is to be GFA. My ambition is to be Supreme Court judge. Ambition, everybody has ambition. Okay, I probably have more, you know. I like to be GFA chairman too as well. And I sit in the stands and I watch the Black Stars beat Nigeria. and You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, nice. So, for some powerful. He's been nursing presidential ambitions. Nothing wrong with that. I said Dunketia is thinking that he has to throw himself in that decision-making process. Because naturally, the chairman, even though he's not a day-to-day -day organizer of the party, has a certain image that can catapult him into presidential candidate and into leader of the party. So this is what the fight is about. The fight is about inheriting John Mohammed's throne. That's really the fight going on in the NDC National Executive, particularly the chairmanship. 
Now, John Mahama is also going to control that. He's going to control who inherits his throne. He also knows that if he wins the election, he's doing one term. If he doesn't win, it's, it's, it's too bad, too late. He can't come back. He has to find another person. John Mahama would like to anoint his successor, as we have found it to be weaknesses of all leaders, including some of the leaders that we completely admire. They always want to anoint their successor. We, we never understand that. Everybody talks about that, but they all want to anoint their successor. I mean, Clinton did it. He tried to anoint Al Gore. He didn't win. I won't say it. But everybody wants to anoint. I really don't understand. Should we pray for them? You are a leader. You've done two terms. Good night. What is trying to machinate and have somebody? It doesn't work. It never works. They always do it. It doesn't work. They will do it. It doesn't work. Anyway. Your successor must come up strong as himself. And then he deals with it and he wins the contest. The president may admire the potential successor. That's okay. But no strong direct moves to pull out a successor. That's why I like what Akufado said recently, uh, that uh, he's not interested in who becomes a flag bearer after him. Some people were gossiping and saying, oh, is he sure? Is he sure? I don't know whether he's sure. I want to believe him, okay? But this is the problem. John Mahama wants to participate in anointing his successor. He knows, John Mahama, that party chairman will have a role to play in this matter. So his preference for party chairman is going to be important. If he prefers Ofusuan Pofu over Asedu Nketia, Asedu Nketia is going to have an uphill task to defeat Ofusuan Pofu. Asedu Nketia is working his way into the good books of John Mahama for the succession. That's it. End of story. So he's got himself back into the do for thing. So two elephants are fighting the grass surface. Let's see what the grassroots are saying. This is a video of them celebrating a hunter project in New Edubiase with uh, Yaoba for Jan, who is no longer an executive of the NDC, who is an anti-John Mahama person, was sitting next to him. He is pushing the Dufo agenda. He is pushing the anti-Mahama agenda. It's going to be very interesting. Here is a video of the dance hall. They were dancing. Have a look. Okay, so uh, that's how the grassroots celebrated the matter. So in conclusion, I'm saying both sides are right. They need to resolve it. Dr. Dufour wants the project to really go to grassroots. He doesn't want to give it to party and then it passes here, goes there. It should go to the grassroots. That's why he told the grassroots that I'm doing this for you. I want you to be empowered at the base. Every party should want to empower his people at the base. Dr. Dufour is not doing it as an MPP person. He's doing it as an NDC person. No, he's not doing a CPP. He's doing another an, 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 an NDC person. So if NDC grassroots benefits, it's good. The question is, why will somebody be preventing grassroots from benefiting? But the flip side is also correct. We are a political party. You want to donate to us. Chief, put a donation on the table. There's an executive. There are rules. There's structures. There's national executive, regional executive, branch executive. So let's go through the structures and we will do what you want us to do. But give the donation to us and we will decide which constituency gets it after which one. That's the conundrum that they find themselves in. If they don't resolve it well, it's going to deepen the division in the NDC. And NDC don't need division going in 2022 because 2024 because MPP are going to have division when the contest occurs. You saw my intro at uh, <laughs> Bar first thing yesterday when I talked about uh, Jose Free saying that he will win and he's sitting next to Alan Martin. Everybody was laughing, okay. So they are going to have their divisions. If they come out of that division clear and NDC are not ready, I can assure you that the election will not be won by the party that's not ready. So they need to resolve that. We are watching this space. We pray for them. We want a flamboyant contest in 2024, word for word, boot for boot, and then we can have a story to deal with. Okay. <laughs>